God promised and said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll always be with you. You know what my faith says? Amen. My faith says, amen. I didn't merit that. I don't deserve that. I should have grieved him away and he should have left me and found somebody else way better than me a long time ago, everyone. But it's election. God's election. God foreordained me to stand in this hour. God foreordained me to come across this message. God foreordained that that light would strike your life. God foreordained the situation. God even foreordained some major problems sometimes just as the vehicle to bring you and usher you into the very presence of Jehovah God. You look at Jonah. My, what a bad situation Jonah's in. Backslidden, running from God. <laughs> From the carnal mind, it looks like it. We all know Brother Branham said, no, was, prophets of God can't backslide. But he was certainly doing his best to get away from what God had purposed him to do. So none of us are in this bad of a state, Brother Branham said. He says, I look this way, whale's belly. I look this way, whale's belly. I'm all tied up in seaweed. I'm laying in vomit. But what did Jonah do? He remembered Solomon prayed a prayer. And when Solomon prayed a prayer, he said, if any of your children be in trouble, let them look this way and God will deliver them. Jonah in the belly of a whale, covered in vomit, remembers the promise of God, and he went to deliver him. So then what happened? The very vehicle that looked like his destruction was the very vehicle God uses to deliver him to fulfill his purpose. So many times we get so upset. Why this situation? Why this problem? Why am I in this? Don't you realize this could be the very vehicle that God is using to test your faith, to turn you back to the promise of God, and God will take that vehicle to usher you right back into fellowship with Him? I believe that. I'm going to be real honest. I absolutely believe these things with all my heart. My carnal mind doesn't understand it, but something down inside of me says that's nothing but the truth. God's Word can't fail. I will fail. God can't, and I'm resting in that. My faith is resting in that. My salvation's resting that he did this work. Me being a part of that elect bride of Jesus Christ, I realize I didn't merit it. You can't merit it. You ain't figuring your way into this gun, guys. This is a sovereign act of God, God's victory, not my victory, his victory. And he is bringing me into his presence. I'm not figuring this out. I'm not trying to say, okay, if I make that one and I figure this one and then I do this and then I do that, forget about it. I have no confidence in myself. I have supreme confidence that this is all God's plan. All things were created by him and for him. He said he would have a bride of whose choosing? His choosing. Oh my, I'm so glad. I didn't go looking for him. He came looking for me.